guys so I this is like the third take of this video because I'm just not satisfied with myself with like the way I look but this seems decent okay so this is an end of the year video Serena of Guam vlog if you're following me on Instagram yay if you're not you're more than welcome to follow me on Instagram I don't get paid on Instagram or anything like that I don't even get paid on YouTube I'm just like seriously chilling. I'm gonna like tell you everything. What I learned first of all in 2017, what I'm most grateful for is God's mercy. For those of you who aren't, uh, who don't believe in one God, whatever, you don't have to. I mean, you, I'm not forcing you to, but I'm sharing this, my heart with you. Um, I'm grateful for God's mercy. I, so many times I've fallen away from my mission in my life, whatever that mission is. Um, all I know is that I've gotten way, I've gotten like so distracted, it's disgusting. I've gotten super distracted this, the whole past year of 2017, and yet God has given me so many opportunities, so many reasons to believe in Him and to, to know that He is active in my life and that he exists and that he loves me and he wants me to do great things. Bam, that's 2017. As well as another thing I've learned, or a big thing, so that was what I'm grateful for, his mercy. The biggest thing I've learned though, this whole year is that with, the, with God, of course, in Christ, but in Christ, I am my own rescue. I can't tell you how many times this whole year I've been expecting somebody to like, to give me what I want, the life I want, the money, the, the happiness, the attention, the, you know, whatever. I've been expecting someone to give that to me. The, as I continued to realize that that was never gonna happen, nobody was gonna show up and hand me happiness and rescue me from every situation that I got myself into because I got so distracted. I realized I am my own rescue. Where did I hear that from? Lisa Nichols. So that was a big epiphany of my life that in 2017. So bam, that was that. Let's do the three biggest things I remember most about 2017. The first one was my breakup. Yes, I'm gonna be super transparent. I. I had a breakup. <sighs> I learned so much from that and I have no ill feelings toward him. I had a breakup, I broke up, we broke up. There were so many things, but for, first and foremost about that, what I learned is that, um, again, this person was not my rescue. Um, the second, second thing I remember most is and that it wasn't a bad thing actually no let's do bad things first so the second hardest thing i went through was moving to kentucky and going through some dramatic things with um things with the the people i was associated with in kentucky where mainly one person and it wasn't you know i'm not gonna go into detail because i already made a video about that if you want to like go back to that video I'll link it somewhere. I don't even know how to do that, but I'll try to link it. But it was pretty much, again, understanding I'm that person is not going to be my rescue. That situation, that circumstance, whatever, what have you, that was not going to be my rescue. So I had to learn again the hard way that Serena, you are your own rescue. And God just was telling me over and over and over and over and over again, like you, you, you are, you are your own rescue. Stop expecting somebody to give to hand you everything on a silver platter you go out and get it okay so there are two biggest things there was a breakup and then there was that situation that happened in Kentucky amidst all of that was it yeah 
Wait, where? Okay. Um, so walk down there. You'll see a cannon there. And then um, you'll see a walkway. And it'll, you just walk up the trail. and The little trail. And just be careful. There's like a really steep stairs. But you guys should be fine. So, okay, you're welcome. Enjoy. Isn't that lovely? Look at that. So there's actually a trail that you can go up there um, onto the that that thing there. Anyway, you can like walk there. Anyway, so it was the breakup and it was uh, Kentucky. Uh, what happened there? Um, some other things I learned. I wasn't good with my money again. <laughs> I mean, how many times do I have to repeat it year after year? Why is money such a big like a is such a hard thing. I don't know. So, anyway, so it was that too. Um, it was that I didn't save money when I should have. Great things, great, mer mer great things that happened though. I mean, I got the opportunity to go to Lex to Kentucky. That was that was literally an opportunity that was a gift from God, and I'm grateful for that. And and in between that. I went to business conferences. I met beautiful people. Um, I literally thought I saw, I thought I, I think I just saw a dolphin. Unless that's a person. That's probably a person. Okay, anyway. So, I got to meet beautiful people. I, you know, Jake, Jake and Johnny Harold, Jake Anthony, Johnny Harold, John Anthony. You guys are my heroes. Um, I love you guys so much. I went to Michigan, I went to the conference with them, and it was my goal to go back to um, Louisville to go to the conference with them again. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, thank you for helping me build my dream. Um, there was that amazing experience going to Michigan, going to meetings with them, hanging out with them, um, getting a job at Planet Fitness, you know. <laughs> I had no idea what a Planet Fitness was, now I know. Um, and it's, it was awesome though. I've learned so much. I've learned so much. Uh, I've worked at Vinaigrette Salad Kitchen. It was amazing there too. I got to eat. Going to the Newman Center in Lexington, Kentucky. In, in the University of Kentucky, I'm sorry, going to the Newman Center. Um, being around beautiful people of the Newman Center. Um, whether it's it was Elle, Rainey, um, Jessica, um, uh, the two Jessicas, I don't even know, um, just several other people at the Newman Center. There was the focused missionaries that were just amazing. There was, um, so there was focused missionaries, the Newman Center, um, the people at St. Paul's Church. Okay, so when I went to Kentucky, I went with the intention to live in North Carolina. And then it didn't work out, and I decided to stay in Kentucky. And now, now I'm here. Now I'm back in Guam um, after being in Kentucky for like five to six months. And then I flew. I was like, you know, I have the opportunity to come back home. I'm going to take it. I'm going to come back home. Bam. Bam. I'm home. Um, so I took that opportunity to come back home. Now I'm home, and you know, before I left Guam, I was looking at joining the Marine Corps. Whoa, Serena, whoa, where did this come from? This is so random. It's only random because I'm telling you this now. It, it's been something that's been on my mind for the longest time. I, and I, it may not go through because I have this weird like pinched nerve thing going on with my back, so I need to go see a chiropractor. So it might not even go through but anyway so coming back to Guam I came back to Guam with the intention to move back to the United States that's not working out right now and there are a lot of reasons for that mainly financial reasons okay I, I don't have enough money to buy my plane ticket back to the United States as I spent it on Christmas gifts okay it was for a good cause so anyway, I'm having trouble going back, but that's not the reason why I'm joining the Marine Corps. So I've been thinking about joining the Marine Corps for like two years. It's been on my mind. Um, the reason why is because it's the Marine Corps and I'm, a, and I'm an intense person. 
and anything that's intense, that's a challenge, that seems hardcore, that involves fighting, that involves um, being patriotic. I'm very patriotic about the United States. Um, and the Marine Corps, when I started to consider it, more and more I started to think, this makes more and more sense every time I look into it, every time I think about it. And some of you may have opposing views. Some of you may have opposing views, whether it's a lifestyle view, whether it's a political view. Like you shouldn't, you shouldn't do the military because you should do your build your business some more and, and gain residual income from your business and this and that. No, you shouldn't enjoy the military because the military is is a military for the United States and you shouldn't do that because you are soft-hearted and it's all political and everything and you're going to be a pawn in, you know, of the United States of America, whatever, right? I don't know. That's the stuff I've been thinking. Maybe none of you will think that, me telling you this. The reason why I want to join the Marine Corps is, first of all, I am very patriotic about the United States. Um, I have certain political views and because of that, I respect the military. My grandfather was a Marine. Um, he he pretty much fought in Vietnam, and that makes me want to do it even more. So there's that. Um, second of all, it's really intense, and like I said, I'm an intense person. Like the training that's involved in it, first of all, is just it's the hardest boot camp training ever, and I kind of want to do that because I want to experience what hell is, you know? Um, I love, I love suffering and I wanna, I wanna just do it already. I'm tired of being half-assed, half-assing things and I'm tired of getting caught up in distractions and I know that the military will help me do that, especially the Marine Corps. Um, they're just, they're just a lot of things, you know? But those are the main things and Another thing is, I listened to this sermon, this, uh, this sermon by Lisa Bevere, and she talked about this uh, female like unit called Team Lioness. And when I learned about this, I learned that this team was dedicated, was put together. This team of women, were, they were put together to go to the Middle East and, and aid and help the Middle Eastern women out there, teach them about democracy and freedom and, and understanding that there is a world out there of women who are free and not oppressed and all this stuff, right? I, I'm sure there's more to it. Um, and they did that because they understood that um, that was important to winning the war in the Middle East. I mean, and I don't even want to get into the politics of that, but my idea of joining the Marine Corps was that that initiative that was put together, Team Lioness, put together to go help women out there in the Middle East. And for, for there, I've, I've heard that there are a lot of, there are a lot of things that I've heard that people think that the military doesn't help at all. I mean, they, they do a lot. They help a lot. I mean, I have great friends in the military who've saved a lot of lives. Um, like, especially here on Guam, the people who drown out in the waters, you know, a lot of my friends, a couple of them were uh, were in the Navy, Navy rescue swimmers, um, and then I don't know what else. There's I was talking to my other friend who um, he helps save somebody somewhat. I don't even know, but I mean these are people. These are human human beings. Like they're not just robots. They're not just like. Um, you know, they're not just like brainwashed soldiers. They're they're not any of that. They are doing serving their country, and they are pretty much they're human beings. So there is that, and uh, I could go on and on, and I can't really go on and on actually. All I know is that I want to do it, and it's been on my mind, and so. Why not, right? It only makes sense. So the sun is going down and I realized that I came out here to like write and stuff. I have like my book out and everything of ideas, but 
I realized that all the, most of the time, whenever I talk to the camera, like I, that's when everything comes out, like all my greatest ideas, right? <laughs> this, the genius that is Serena. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't really want to show you my body, and I probably, I have really no desire to, like, not even, because um, I don't have a body, <laughs> but. But there was a lady over there, like, playing, like, an instrument, and it was pretty cool. Um, it's just beautiful here. Um, it's beautiful here. So, that's the next step. That's what 2018, hopefully, if I figure out this pinched nerve in the back of my neck, that's what 2018 is going to be about. 2018 is going to be, I'm going to join the Marine Corps. Um, I'm going to be a Marine. And I'm going to also build my business on the side, too. Uh, I'm going to do stuff around the world. I'm going to save my money. Um, I'm going to get a Jeep because that is a goal and that needs to happen already. Um, I don't even know. I'm going to explore the world. <sighs> yeah, so when all that happens, I will update you guys. Um, yeah. I guess, I guess that's it. I might just redo this whole video because this looks, this is like a nicer version of me. I might just do it. Okay, I'm probably gonna do it.